ladies and gentlemen, it uh, it appears I've had some technical difficulties over here on Monday Night Raw due to due to Jugger J distracting me. Um, see what had happened was I had forgot to press record, and so um, this whole time I've been recording, and uh, Jugger J and I have been uh, exchanging words back and forth. Um, however, you guys, unfortunately, are not going to be able to get to see that because I had forgot to press record. Um, sometimes when we do these matches and we do these episodes of WWE, ladies and gentlemen, it can be a little hectic. And I know that's nobody's fault but my own. However, I just need you to bear with me as we go back to the beginning of this episode and I let y'all know what y'all missed out on. Um, Jugger J, he really not needed for this, so we can go ahead and get rid of him. Um, and then we just going to go back to the beginning. So the things that you guys have missed out on so far, um, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson had defeated the Viking Raiders of Ivar and Eric. Um, that was an okay match. And then we got, um, Liv Morgan who lost to Sonya Deville over here on Monday night. Raw. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to not press record it. Yeah. I, I pressed it now though. I pressed it now. We recording now. Is that good enough? Um, the, the third match was, which it was a great match, right? We, we had right back and Braun breaker tear it up in the ring. That's never been seen before. Um, it probably, probably would be a five-star match had it happened in real life. Um, the, the, the next match we got, um, Tony storm and asked by elegance. They defeated Caden Carter and Katana chance. And then right after this match, that's, that's when I realized that I wasn't recording. See, I was supposed to be recording for 15 minutes, but, but now I only record for two minutes. Um, but now that we all caught up to speed, um, I also want to say, Jugger J, I'm sorry, um, cause yeah. And then now we all caught up to speed. So let's get back to the video. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got eight J Styles as he takes on Seth freaking Rollins, the former WWE champion. Ladies and gentlemen, AJ Styles will compete against Dragunov at Halloween Havoc for the United States Championship. Seth Rollins. He just lost his WWE championship to, well, yours truly. Some people, some people upset about it. Some people think I don't deserve to be WWE champion. Some people think I use my power as general manager to weasel my way and keep getting championship match after championship match after championship match. Listen, y'all. For those y'all out there who've been watching the videos, y'all saw my hand was on the rope. The referee said, fuck you, ghost. And he, can, and he counted to three anyway. I don't deserve to be treated like that. When I do my best to run this Monday Night Raw show as best as I can, I demand some respect around here. And I'm going to make sure I get that damn respect. But for now, AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, and your winner is. And Seth freaking Rollins has defeated the number one contender for the United States Championship. Gigi Dolan and Mandy Rose, the Raw Women's Money in the Bank winner, as she takes on the Women's Intercontinental Champion, Bayley, and the Raw Women's Champion, Eo Sky. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a great match with your winner is. And Gigi Dolan and Mandy Rose are victorious over the champions. Ladies and gentlemen, this does not look good for your Raw Women's Champion. It does not look good for your Women's Intercontinental Champion. I need Bailey to keep that momentum going forward. I need Io Sky to keep that momentum going forward. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got some backstage action as Grayson Waller attacks Jet backstage once again, ladies and gentlemen. So at some point, somebody has got to come and help Jet with A-Town down under. But Jet said he don't need no help. Jet says he could do it bad all by himself as Jet turns the tide and defeats Grayson Waller backstage. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got Daniel Bryan taking on Powerhouse Hobbs. And your winner is. And Daniel Bryan victorious over Powerhouse Hobbs here tonight on Monday night, ladies and gentlemen. And for your main event. See, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people don't think I deserve to be WWE champion. Some people think I use my power as general manager to weasel my way to get this opportunity to become your WWE champion. But I beg to differ because if you watch the same match I watched, I had my hand on the rope. The referee looked me square in the windows of my soul and counted one, two, three. He said, fuck your hand being on the rope. We don't care. It's going to be a three count. I'm just saying at the end of the day, it should have been a tie. Seth Rollins with five, the Ghost with five, 
and we didn't rerun it back. However, that wasn't the case. But if I'm going to lose, I want to lose and I can take my loss like a man. However, I just want it to be fair. So what I did, what any good person would do, and I said, Seth Rollins, let's run it back one more time in the steel cage match. That way we ain't got to worry about no outside interference. We ain't got to worry about no referee pulling no bullshit. However, yet still, even in the steel cage match, the referee don't like me. He said, fuck you, ghost, yet again. And even when I count, the referee didn't count one, two, three. He didn't do shit. I told the referee, hey, open up the door. You think the referee opened up the door? Hell no. Nah. So I had to do my own thing. And I climbed to the top of that steel cage. And I climbed over. And I let my feet hit the floor so that I could become your new WWE champion. Now, some people, I respect it. Y'all don't like it. I understand. I know over on Friday Night Smackdown, that with the general manager over there, whatever his name is, I know for a fact he don't like it. And that's cool. But I also don't give a damn what he thinks. I never have and I never will. But as a champion, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to give four contestants the opportunity to face me at Halloween Havoc for the WWE Championship. We're going to give my dog Drew McIntyre an opportunity. We're going to give my dog Randy Orton an opportunity. We're going to give my dog Big E an opportunity. And we're also going to give one of my former tag team partners, Bronson Reed, the opportunity. So those four superstars will face off in a fatal four-way match with the winner. The winner will face me for the WWE Championship at Halloween Havoc. If I lose, I will not get the, the, the WWE Championship for three months. I will not compete for the WWE Championship for three months. I feel like that's fair, y'all. But if I win... If I win, I'm going to be on Friday Night Smackdown because I got a special treat for a special somebody that's been running their damn mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get down to this main event. Drew McIntyre, Bronson Reed, Randy Orton, and Big E. Which one of these guys will be facing the ghost for the WWE Championship? And your winner is. And the Apex Predator, the Legend Killer, the Viper, Randy Keith Orton will face off against the ghost for the WWE Championship. That is going to be a hell of a good match. Randy Orton is one of the people who trained me. One of my favorite all times. Shout out, Randy Orton. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Monday Night Raw. I hope you guys enjoyed your stay. I know I did. And I know you guys don't want to go anywhere, but don't worry. We'll be back here same time next week. For now, unfortunately, we got to go down to that trash ass show that they pull on Friday nights. But until next time, I love you. Comment down below what your favorite match was here tonight. My personally might have been the main event. Or you could argue maybe Ryback versus Braun Breaker. That was a good match. I know you guys kind of missed the beginning of the show. That's on me. That's on me. My fault. My bad. I can only do better going forward. All right. I'll see y'all next week on Monday Night Raw. Let's head on down to Friday Night SmackDown. What's good, y'all? I am your SmackDown general manager and the Intercontinental champion, Jiggy J. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got less than two weeks before we headed to Halloween Havoc. So, uh, we're going to get right down with the mini grid for this show, shall we? As, uh, Karen Cross go one-on-one -on -one with Cameron Grimes here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's find out who is going to win here tonight. And congrats to Karen Cross, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a... We had a four-way tag team match. So uh, which of these gorgeous ladies going to win here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Right here on Smack now. Looks like Jamie Henry did not win here tonight, but the winner is Asuka and Zaya Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Congrats to Asuka and Zaya Lee. Next match, ladies and gentlemen, we got CM Punk going one-on-one -on -one with Solo Sokoa. Solo Sokoa want to prove that he won't let Samoa Joe down here tonight in this matchup to prove that he's a dominant um, Samoan, just like come. Can he pull it off here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Or will CM Punk win this matchup? Let's find out, and your winner is. And congratulations to Solo Sokoa with the big win here tonight against CM Punk. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we got Electra Lopez going one-on-one -on -one with Thea Hill here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Electra Lopez did not want Lolo Vice to be here tonight, 
She wants to prove to herself that she could do it on her own. Let's see, can she pull it off? And your winner is. And it looks like that Electra Lopez didn't get the job done at Thea Hale when here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Congrats to Thea Hale. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a finals qualifier. This is for the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, ladies and gentlemen. As Apollo Crews go one on one with Jacob Fatu. Who will go one on one with yours truly for the Intercontinental Championship at Halloween Havoc, ladies and gentlemen? It's time to find out who the winner is. And congratulations to Jacob Fatu. He'll be going one on one with Jugga J at Halloween Havoc. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we got one more spot left for. The SmackDown Women's Championship uh, in our Fatal 4 way match at Halloween Havoc. Uh, we got Lazara versus Charlotte Flair in our one-on-one matchup. Who will get that spot, ladies and gentlemen? And congratulations to Charlotte Flair, ladies and gentlemen, with the big one here tonight. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we got a tag team matchup, players, as LWO take on the Young Bucks here tonight. Can Matt and Nick Jackson pull off the win, ladies and gentlemen, to get some momentum? Or will LWO pull off an upset? Let's find out. And your winner is. And congratulations to the Young Bucks. They pull off the win, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, y'all, we got ourselves a triple threat matchup, ladies and gentlemen. This match will determine the number one contender to take on Keith Lee for the Universal Championship. It's time to find out who will get that opportunity here, ladies and gentlemen. And your winner is. And congratulations to Justice Young, ladies and gentlemen. He will get a one-on-one -on -one matchup against Keith Limless Lee for the championship. Congrats to Justice Young. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another uh, qualifier for our triple threat match for next week as Cody Rhodes go one-on-one -on -one with Josh Alexander. Which one of these guys will move on in our triple threat matchup, ladies and gentlemen? here tonight for the all-star championship let's find out and your winner is and congrats to josh alexander ladies and gentlemen he pulled off a big one here tonight ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching friday night smackdown ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching uh y'all make sure to smash the like button make sure all the locations always open when you never miss a video uh y'all tell me in the comments what is your favorite match here down below in the comment section and as always i'll catch you in the next video uh, and I'm out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monday Night Raw. This is the Monday Night Raw before Halloween Havoc, and I am oh so excited to share this Monday Night Raw with you all. Starting things off first here tonight, we got Maxine Dupree versus Samantha Bombshell in some one on one action. This should be a squash match for Samantha Bombshell, but let's see what happens. Maxine Dupree could pull up an upset here. And your winner is. And like I said, y'all, Maxine Dupree with the upset victory here. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got another squash match for Baron Corbin as he takes on Timothy Thatcher. But who knows? Timothy Thatcher could pull up an upset here. Let's see what happens. And Baron Corbin with the victory here. Shout out Baron Corbin. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got some tag team action for your ass. As Timeless Elegance takes on the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green been a long time since i said that but your winner is and timeless elegance with the victory over piper nevin and chelsea green next up we got main event yee jay uso as he takes on ridge holly and your winner is and main event jay uso is in yo city as he defeats ridge holland here tonight next up ladies and gentlemen we got your raw women's champion in action tonight as she goes one on one against Natalia, and your winner is. And Natalia has defeated the Raw Women's Champion. Things are not looking too good for EO Sky. Three weeks in a row, three losses. I, I, I don't think EO Sky is going to walk out of Halloween Havoc as the Raw Women's Champion. That's just me, though. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got Chase U, Andre Chase, and Duke Hudson as they take on A Town Down, Grayson Waller, and Austin Theory. And your winner is. The winners are Chase U. Andre Chase and Duke Hudson. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got something brewing backstage as Deanna Perrazzo attacks Rhea Ripley. As you know that they will be facing each other 
at Halloween Havoc for the Raw Women's Championship alongside Io Sky. Deanna Perrazzo pulling out the victory over Rhea Ripley right here on Monday Night Raw. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got Braun Breaker and Seth Freakin' Rollins in some one-on-one -on -one action. I would really like to see this match take place in real life, and I think it's only a matter of time before we do. Ladies and gentlemen, Breaker, Rollins, let's get to it. And Seth Freakin' Rollins with the victory over Braun Breaker. And for your main event, ladies and gentlemen, we got Randy Orton and the Ghosts. They will be going against each other for the WWE Championship at Halloween Havoc. But let's see how well they do as a team right here tonight on Monday Night Raw as they take on Malachi Black and Draven. As you guys know, Malachi Black lost his United States Championship after only holding it for two weeks, which is still longer than Jay Cargill held the SmackDown Women's Championship. I'm just saying. But, ladies and gentlemen, your winners are and Randy Orton and the WWE Champion, the Ghost, are victorious right here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. All right, y'all, that is going to be a wrap for Monday Night Raw. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button. Let me know what your favorite match was down in the comment box below. As always, any love is appreciated. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all at Halloween Havoc. Gang, gang. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am your SmackDown Journal Manager, Jesse J, and welcome to Friday Night SmackDown. Ladies and gentlemen, we are less than 24 hours to get prepared for Halloween Havoc. Ooh. Anyway, we're going ahead and kick things off with a six-man tag team match, ladies and gentlemen, as Tyler Breeze and Pridley Deadly, they're going to take on against the team of DIY and their tag team partner and Johnny Gargano know him from the way Dexter Loomis. It's time to find out uh, which team is going to win here tonight on SmackDown. Time to find out. And your winner is. And congratulations to Tyler Breeze and Pridley Deadly, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves uh, a tag team matchup as Black Girl Magic of Last Legend and Jakar Jackson. They will be taken on against Blair Davenport and Zoe Starts, ladies and gentlemen. Blair Davenport and Zoe Start, they are number one contenders for the Women Tag Team Championships. Let's see, can they get plenty of momentum here tonight? And no, ladies and gentlemen, looks like they have fallen, ladies and gentlemen, as Last Legend Jakar Jackson win here tonight. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we got a one-on-one -on -one matchup as Matt Riddle. He'll be going one-on-one -on -one with Adam Cole here tonight. And congrats to Adam Cole, baby, with the win. Congrats, Adam Cole. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we got Jamie Hitter versus Tyler Valkyrie in a one-on-one -on -one matchup here tonight. Can Jamie Hitter get more momentum here tonight for her woman IC championship, ladies and gentlemen? Let's find out. And your winner is Tyler Valkyrie. She won the match, ladies and gentlemen. Jamie Hader is not looking good coming out this Sunday. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, it's your intercolon champion, Jugga J, and he will go one-on-one -on -one with Roderick Strong here tonight. But Roderick Strong is not alone. He got the Red Dragons by his side. Uh, who is going to win here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Let's find out right here on SmackDown. This superstar has a strong chance to make a statement wow. at the expense of a title holder. You can say that again, even though the title isn't on the line, getting a W against a champ is a big feather in your cap. More importantly, a potential sign of things right. to come. And across the ring, a man looking to cement his legacy as a title holder in our sport. You gotta hope he isn't taking it easy, even though the title's not on the line. You just know the vultures are circling. It's important he projects. Oh no, he can be caught here. Bad spot for him. And uncanny, and he very quickly counters. To the corner now. <laughs> what a forearm. Has their opponent up. See how and strong Roger Strong is there? Breaker. But wait, oh, there's no. more. Another. Just he goes for the quick pin. Shoulders up after two. Got surprisingly close to a pinfall there. Then hard to the outside. Oh. 
This superstar picking up speed. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? And gets tossed back into the mat. The WWE Universe is poor. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. A back suplex right onto the apron. Hitting the edge of the ring like that can do some lasting damage to the body. Isolating the arm. Come on, Jigga. Lined him up. Oh, and a four. Ooh. Going for it. Trying to step through. Roll on their belly. With all uh -huh. the stomach. Busted. Trying to find a way out. Using his power to escape. Thrown back in under the ropes. My goodness. Positioning their opponent for the middle rope. He's got uh. him down. Is this it? Kicks out at just one. Starting to see no. the tools of this match add up. Mm -mm. Oh, look at this power. This is unholy. Look at that for reps. <laughs> that is something else. Rough landing. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. I do not see this match going on much longer. There's too many more moves oh like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. That's right. Oh, slam. Producing consecutive attacks. This is frightening strength here. Oh my, what a yeah. splash. He's channeling the crowd's energy. Vicious right forearm. Oh, Roger. Yeah. Into the pin attempt. Uh, he forces a break two. before the count of two. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. <laughs> Fighting back with a counter. Oh my gosh. Going counter for counter. No. Now can it be capitalized on? This is an incessant attack being brought to him. He's got to boost up his levels of aggression at this point. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Take that. He wants even more out of his opponent. He steps foot in the ring again. Oh, and a rear super kick. Oh, my gosh. Oh my, nasty. Stop showboating. Oh. He thought he had it. And he's able no. to reverse. I don't think so. Series of reversals. Oh my goodness. Set him up for the flat line. He's going for it all. Soaring. Whoa, what a landing. Jesus Just crashing Christ. down with high impact. He's getting fired up now. Really Come on, Juggernaut. There we go. Held in a perilous position. Oh, man, right in the post. We might be close to the end. He can really stand to give back as good as he's getting right about now. And we are down to the proverbial wire here, guys. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. Taking this match off the mat now. Why? No. Yeah. This singles match is over. Mm -hmm. Here is your winner, Shane. The out of the ring count mm -hmm. getting the best of them tonight. When a match That's is decided good. by count out, it leaves you wondering where wonder. this match could have gone. Yeah. They got that too. I'm gonna beat the brakes out of you. I will be icy champion. Let's go. Very good. Very good match, y'all. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we got Naomi going one on one with Tiffany Stratton here tonight, ladies and gentlemen.
Who is going to win here tonight? Congratulations to Naomi, ladies and gentlemen. This match was supposed to be happening on the pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen. But I said, you know what? Why not we just have the match right here, right now, on SmackDown? So, ladies and gentlemen, we giving y'all the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. Y'all all been waiting for it as... Cedric Alexander and Shanti Adonis taking on Tony D'Angelo and Stax. Taking on against the Young Bucks in a triple threat tag team matchup here, ladies and gentlemen. And whoever wins will become Smack Now Tag Team Champions. So uh, who is going to win here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Mm. And congratulations to Tony D'Angelo and Stack Lorenzo, ladies and gentlemen. They won this Tag Team Championships, congratulations. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, in a steel cage match, we got Alexander Hammerstone. He'll be going one-on-one -on -one against CM Punk here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, can uh, CM Punk get redemption against uh, Alexander Hammerstone? He already did in the no DQ match, but let's see, can they go at it inside a steel cage? Oh man, a steel cage, steel cage. And your winner is, ladies and gentlemen, is Alexander Hammerstone. He had destroyed CM Punk. And up next, ladies and gentlemen, for your main event, we got ourselves a triple threat match, ladies and gentlemen. And whoever wins will be the number one contender for the All-Star Championship. So we have Josh Alexander, Kenny Omega, and Omas. Which one of these men? will get the opportunity for the All-Star Championship. Let's go. And your winner is. And congratulations to Josh Alexander, ladies and gentlemen. He'll be next in line to face Ace Hunter for the All-Star Championship. Thank you all for watching Friday Night SmackDown, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for watching. Um, This was a decent show. Decent show, y'all. Uh, Y'all make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to, in the comments what is your favorite match. Until next time. I'll see y'all next time. Maria, I will see y'all at the pay-per-view when I'm defending my Intercontinental Championship against Jacob Fatu. Uh, and I'm out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Friday Night SmackDown and Monday Night Raw presents Halloween Havoc. Ladies and gentlemen, on today's episode of Halloween Havoc, we got a lot of championship matches. Both of us, both general managers, Jugga J and the Ghost, they got their own respected. Uh, we will be defending our championships. Jugga J will be defending his Intercontinental Championship against Jacob Fatu. I will be defending my WWE Championship against the Legend Killer, Randy Orton. We both got our work cut out for us. However, I think only one of us will retain the championships. We all know it's going to be me. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Jugga J, how you feeling today? Feeling okay to me. You feeling okay? We will see after yeah. uh after Jacob for two uh defeats you for the IC championship. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into Ooh. Halloween have it. It was supposed to be like a little spooky. For sure. Let's just get, get to the show, bro. For sure, for let's sure. For show. sure. You right, you right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to kick things off with a kickoff match as Joe Gacy will go one on one with Karrion Cross here tonight. Uh, let's find out which man is uh, going to win here tonight in this spooky pay per view, ladies and gentlemen, or PLE. Depends on it. The, the winner is, and Joe Gacy won here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to Joe Gacy. Up next, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Women Tag Team Championships on the line as representing Friday Night SmackDown. We got Zoe Starts and Blair Davenport. And they will be taking on against Team Raw, Toxic Attraction of Gigi Dolan and Jesse Jane. Uh, which team is going to walk out in Halloween Havoc, ladies and gentlemen, as your new Women Tag Team Champion? That's how you get it done, son. Congratulations to uh, Zoe Stark. Uh, 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 
name. That's not her name. That's not her name. That's not her name. I know. I I I want to. Can I drink? Can I drink? Can I? Can I drink? Can I? Congratulations to uh, Jesse Jane and uh, the, they, the fans can't hear you. Congratulations to GG Dolan and JC Jane Toxic Attraction. C- congratulations. Yeah, say it with your chest. I'm gonna die, yo. Oh yes. <laughs> as, as I defended my other color championship against Jacob Batten. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm not scared, y'all. Uh, I, I'm confident. Uh, all I gotta do is believe in myself. So Jacob Batten, you wanna fight? Let's get on. Focus when this much is on the line. He said he don't even want the championship, but he just want to beat your ass. That's good. I'm going to put myself up in this corner. Let's go, bro. Gentlemen, you are looking at a man who is sick of the doubters, sick of being questioned. Oh my gosh. And I can't disagree with him. I expect no. tonight to be a night where he can mm-hmm. silence the skeptics and prove to be the future here, of this bro. company. It will be a tall order, but the confidence he possesses could take him very far. Yeah. But he's tasked with quite the challenge in the form of his competitor across the ring. This guy has been tormenting the WWE roster yeah. for weeks now. Big splash. Mm-hmm. Carefully placed stop to the arm. It's time to take up the power slam. I don't want to do this, bro. Yeah. Like a it couldn't have felt yeah. good being sucked around like that. Oh, God. Taking their time. Oh, yeah. No time to show both, bro. Absolutely incredible. Walking around the ring. Oh, yeah. Long. Champs got the pen to retain. Mm-hmm. Denying a two count there. Showing his determination there okay. with that kick out. You know he what he's getting capable of. apart right now. Yeah, and every attempt to fight back yeah. being negated. Yeah, yeah. Champ creating some distance with that move. Yeah. Power like that is what makes our champion so intimidating. What? what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. down right hands. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my goodness. Come on, Jugger. No, no. No. Let's go. Yeah, come on, huh? That's the best you got? That's the best you got? That's the best you got? Oh. 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 Nah. Oh, man. Nah. What impressive determination from oh. both competitors keeping at each no. other no matter what. Oh. Oh. Both absolutely no. drained, but both mm-hmm. refusing to give up. Oh, looks like we got ourselves uh-uh. a hockey fight. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> it's Street Fighter, boy. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Sent no. There, letting the champion mm. know the kid gloves are off. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Yeah. Back yeah. Elbow. yeah. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. From the top. <sighs> oh, oh, the oh. Mark. Ooh, what a oh. damaging blow. No. He has him locked in. Oh my gosh. Nah. Down. Is it Get it. I can't believe it. He said, get the hell off me. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. And look at this. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Somehow he kicked out. This puts 
their back on the champion. Can the champion respond with their back against the wall? It is unreal that this match is still going on after a maneuver that would end most <laughs> matches. Yes. Uh-oh. He's got the answer oh for that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. You want to make no. Jacob angry, bro. Ooh. Oh, my God. Swan Tom Long. Nah. Okay. okay. I think you made Up Jacob angry, bro. Now. No, no. Ain't no way, y'all. Ain't no way, y'all. Resilience of a champion on display. Though you gotta believe he'll be looking for the kill shot one more time. Good God, both superstars in the outside. I'm not done with you, boy. Oh my God. After all we've seen, these men are still not finished. There's a fire burning inside these competitors that won't allow them to quit. Power slam. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Come on. Four. WJ might go for the classic count out, just like he, he always does. He is looking mm -hmm. to do some serious. Yeah, Jugger J got a T, yo. Oh. You, you see it? Have to head back into oh. the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. Not yep. the position you want to be in right now. Impressive to put champion into the cover. Got it. No, just a two. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Let's go. Oh, this is just flat out punishment. Stop Stay done. Stop yeah. Stop. In full control of their opponent with more. Let's go. Discus yep. punch. Look at him seizing the momentum here. We are no. looking at an unyielding attack from him. Getting up. Let me go into the top rope once again. From the top. Fuck back with a punch. What? Nope. No. The champ has been taken to their limit. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say Might Saxton. be over for Juggy. No. No. And he tosses him back in now. He's heading up top. Uh oh. Big. No. No. I think it's over. Please, please. We have a brand new champion fulfilling their destiny. Here is your winner in the new WWE Intercontinental Champion, Jacob Bell. Yeah. A brutal loss for our now former champion. The thing is, I want out of Jacob Fatu as a fight and he bring his A game. I, I will admit that. I don't I will give him that. But I know one thing. There will be a rematch. There will be a rematch. I'll promise you that. I'll promise you that. I will get my rematch. But I'm gonna earn it. I'm gonna earn mine in good time. Jacob Fatu you and me will be back in this ring. Only this time, it's going to be for that championship. I promise you that. For sure, for sure. You, you were about your match against Randy, bro. I didn't even you say anything. The, you, I didn't, you, I, why, why am I? Why? The, whole, the, whole goal of the video, the previous video and this video, you've been running your mouth about, I, oh, I'm going to lose the AC title. Well, guess what? It happened. It happened, bro. You worry about your match against Randy. I didn't even you say anything. About you. Been running your mouth about oh I'm gonna lose the AC championship I'm gonna lose the AC championship and you ain't worried about your match against Randy Orton. Imagine if Randy beat you. I hope Randy beat you, bro. 
because I've been cheering you on for the Intercontinental Championship against Seth Rollins, bro. No, you wasn't. But, you uh, literally, you yeah. literally just said, well, I'm not even going to get into it, bro. Next match, ladies and gentlemen, we got the awesome truth, the Miz and our truth are coming into the ring by John Morrison and Maurice, and they will be taking on the defending champions, the Creed Brothers, Julius Creed and Brutus Creed with the Raw Tag Team Championships on the line. And the winners are, and the Creed Brothers are still your Raw Tag Team champion. Shout out to Creed Brothers. Tremendous run so far. Woman IC Championship will be on the line here tonight as Jamie Hader gets an opportunity against Bailey. Let's see. Can Jamie Hader bring home the Woman IC Championship and bring it to Friday nights? Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, to Bailey on a big one here tonight. Congrats to Bailey. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we got a fatal four way for the SmackDown Women's Championship as Tyron defender against three ladies here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, and Amber Moon. Which one of these ladies will get the opportunity of becoming SmackDown Women's Champion here tonight? And congratulations to Bianca Belair, ladies and gentlemen. She got her championship back, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, ladies and gentlemen. The United States Championship is on the line as the defending champion, Dragunov, will defend his championship against eight. Jake Styles. And your winner is. And your winner is. Eight. Jake Styles. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got a triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. If you guys are not familiar with the story, let me catch you up to speed. At SummerSlam. Deanna Perrazzo defeated Rhea Ripley to become the Raw Women's Champion. Then, after holding the championship for about two months, Deanna Perrazzo uh, held an open challenge match at Clash of the Castle. We see Io Sky defeat Deanna Perrazzo for the Raw Women's Championship. Rhea Ripley attacked Io Sky and Deanna Perrazzo backstage. The following week, Deanna Perrazzo attacked Rhea Ripley backstage. Me being the good general manager that I am, these three ladies will settle out this beef for the Raw Women's Championship right here, right now in the square circle. Can Eo Sky retain this Raw Women's Championship or will we have a brand new champion? Only one way to find out, ladies and gentlemen. And Deanna Perrazzo is your new Raw Women's Champion. Shout out, Deanna Perrazzo. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we got the... WWE Universal Championship on the line, ladies and gentlemen, as Justice Young will go one on one against Keith Limitless Lee. It's time to find out who is going to win here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, for the Universal Championship. Keith Limitless Lee. I hope you lose, bro. <laughs> you see, bro? See how fake you are? I'm not fake. I'm the real deal. Ladies and gentlemen, up next, we got the WWE Championship on the line as the Ghost defends his championship against one of the people who train him how to wrestle, Randy Keith Orton. This is teacher versus student, friend versus friend, former champion versus current champion. Randy Orton, the Ghost, let's make it happen, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's all about right here. The WWE Championship. That's right, baby. The Thank you, Mama. Fans fucking with me. The fans fucking with me. Like I said earlier, it is Halloween, ladies and gentlemen. So the ghost got it went on Halloween, right? I mean, right? That's not even your favorite holiday, bro. 
Don't matter, bro. Come on, Ghost. Don't let me down. Randy, just RKL. Let's go. For over 50 years, the That's right, Randy. WWE Championship has stood as the Let's premier go. championship in professional wrestling. And He's really beating my ass, bro. Story Ain't yeah. no way. Oh, champion and challenger are yeah. motivated Go. the biggest prize of them all. The man who yeah. lays claim to that title can call himself the very best competitor in this industry. He's able to fend off the attack. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Randy, 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 what's going on, man? Randy, I think you do better, bro. No! Over the top. Randy! That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for your well-being. Randy Orton has so many different ways to attack and punish his opponents, but That's Corey, right. what do you think will be Orton's greatest strength tonight? Well, oh, it's got to be Orton's ability to be three, four steps ahead of any opponent. Orton's as cerebral and methodical as they come, and that mindset is the key go. to victory in this one. Toss yep. back into the ring. I like it. Man, get out of that. Get out of that. Good job, Randy. You can't prepare your face for that. Their opponents oh, 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 and the champion avoids the two count. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of him. No way. Well placed kick to the gut. Another damaging Bang. kick. Oh, nice combo. Springboard. I like it. I like it. Vicious right oh, forearm. Man. Slam. Randy. Hits him with there the we go. Or with the fans mm -hmm. press and now and now unloading rights on his opponent. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing Randy, but I was cool, on bro. Mind. Oh, That's right, uppercut. uppercut. Randy, can we be cool? Can we be friends? No. It's not friends for a championship. Come on, Randy. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Roll out of the ring, go. Big forearm. And the DDT. Mm -hmm. The champ looking worn out. Yeah, the longer this fight goes on, the more Orton's not going to make it easy on them. With the stop. What a move by Orton. Please reverse it, bro. RKO. Look at the Two. Kick out, kick out. The champion stays alive. Beautiful. Beautiful. Champion there. Well, we might see a new champ here tonight. Oh, my gosh. The champ kicked out and has no intentions on losing that title anytime soon. Yes. So many matches with that, but it did not. Spear, right now. Just then. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. This can't be real. Ceaseless punishment from the Viper. And see, that's Orton being yep. three or four steps ahead. The I like it. No. Working wonders. Gets out of there in a hurry. That's fine. Let, let him let, let him let him do him. You could have hit a spear right now, brother. What? I hate when he does that. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. That's expected. That's expected. This, this That's right. The ropes, knee lift, into the neck breaker. Like he... Stopping their opponent. 
Come on, Randy. You're cool. Takes out the knee. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Five star frozen. Finger on the trigger now. No. From way up top, he does. I was too dark to hear it. Come on, Randy. Who wants it more? Knee strike connects. Stop the You already did that move, Goofs. You gotta try something else. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good good job. Meet him outside. I like it. But don't stay out there. Put him put him back in the ring. Okay, good move, good move, good move. Now put him back in the ring. Yeah, the ghost of a heel, y'all. That's why I said put him back in the ring. That's fine. Just, just get back in there. Okay, I'll take that too. You got to hit a, a super kick. Get out of that. Get out of it. He, he don't want to win. He don't he don't want to win. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Measuring. Oh, oh, face stop. Yeah. The Viper lined up. Oh my gosh. We know what's next. Please reverse that. Yeah. He didn't, yeah. he didn't want to win. He didn't want to win, yo. He didn't want to win. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the All-Star Championship will be on the line as Josh Alexander representing SmackDown take it on against Ace Hunter, accompanied by Amanda Myers representing Raw. Uh, we're going to find out which of these superstars is going to win and come home with the All-Star Championship, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's find out. And your winner is. And Ace Hunter won yet again, y'all. Oh, this is not a good day for SmackDown. It's really not a good day. It is, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Halloween Havoc. I may have lost my WWE Championship, but at least all my other teammates on Monday Night Raw held on to the important championships. Still got the All-Star Championship on Raw. Still got the Women's Intercontinental Championship on Raw. Still got the Women's Tag Team Championships on Raw. And now at the end of the day, as long as Raw beats SmackDown, that's all I really care about. Shout out to Randy Orton on defeating me. It was a great match. Y'all seen it on the television screen. I will get my IC Championship back from Jacob Fatu. Will you get your uh, championship from Randy Orton? Unfortunately, or gotta... I didn't. I didn't. I didn't hold my championship for a month, so I don't think I deserve a rematch. However, Seth Rollins never got his rematch clause, so I'm going to wait in line and let Seth Rollins take on Randy Orton. I I'll get my championship back in due time, I and I'll make sure I do that. In the meantime, my focus is on something totally different. I'll see y'all on Monday Night Raw. Jugga J, thank you for being here in this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite match was. Jugga J, um, you lost your championship. I lost my championship. Why don't you say we uh squash the beef? Not a chance, bro. We're, we're going sure. to tell sell us for a Survivor Series, bro. For sure. We're going to sell us for a Survivor Series. I see not coming. I see not coming. But, ladies and gentlemen, Keep in mind, the next PLE will be Survivor Series. And you know when it comes to Survivor Series, Jugga J and I, we do this thing called Superstar Shakeup.
where we see some superstars transition from SmackDown over to Raw, and some superstars transition from Raw to SmackDown. We will explain more in the next episode. But for now, we love you, and we will see you in the next video. Gang, gang. <laughs>